Princess Cruise Lines is bringing back a fan favorite itinerary that they haven't done in years. Carnival Cruise Lines has become the first cruise operator to embark 10 million passengers from their Galveston port. For the first time since that terrible collapse of the Key Bridge in Baltimore, cruise ships are now ready to embark from the port of Baltimore. And there is a new cruise line in town who is offering an unlimited cruising pass where you can cruise for the rest of your life for a one-time fee. We've got a bunch of cruise news. Let's swan dive right into it. Hello everyone, it's Cynthia, your host. Welcome back to today's show. Well, today we have some cruise news stories that are exciting, interesting, and um, one in a million. Or maybe I should say 10 million. We're gonna kick this show off today talking about the return of cruising to the port of Baltimore. We all remember that terrible accident that happened at the port of Baltimore on March 26th with the collapse of the Key Bridge. The Port of Baltimore wasted no time in putting up a post saying, Welcome back, Royal Caribbean. They are excited, like I'm sure most of us cruise fans are, to have this port return back to normal after that tragedy. Well, on March 25th, the Vision of the Seas will depart from the Port of Baltimore for a five-night voyage, leaving from Baltimore and headed over to Bermuda. Another announcement on May 17th from Carnival Cruise Line stated that the Carnival Pride will depart from the Port of Baltimore on May 26th. This is really good news as the Port of Baltimore sails year-round sailings on the major cruise lines such as Carnival Cruise Line, Norwegian Cruise Line, as well as Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. The president of Carnival Cruise Line, Christine Duffy, had this to say about the return to Baltimore. We are extremely grateful to the officials and incredible first responders in Baltimore who've shown great leadership and resolve in this difficult time, as well as our supportive partners in Norfolk, whose rapid response allowed us to continue to deliver our scheduled sailings for our guests. It's been our goal to resume operations in Baltimore as soon as possible, and after working closely with local, state, and federal agencies, we look forward to a successful return and Key Bridge Response Unified Command officials that the set to return by May 26 looks absolutely on target and ready to go. This is good news that we are all happy to hear. Our next cruise news story takes us over to Princess Cruise Line. They have made an announcement this week that so many of us are so excited to hear. Um, these are my favorite places to travel um, when it got, comes to the Caribbean. So I was really excited to get this news. Princess Cruise Lines, which just so happens to be the world's fifth largest cruise lines, announced that beginning October of 2025, they will resume sailings to popular Southern Caribbean ports. These will be seven night voyages aboard the beautiful 2600 passenger Grand Princess. And these will leave out of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Just a note, this is something that Princess Cruise Lines has not done in over a decade. These Southern Caribbean voyages will alternate between two different seven-night itineraries. The first itinerary will have calls in Tortola, Dominica, St. Kitts, Grenada, and Barbados. The second itinerary will make calls in St. Thomas, uh, St. Martin on the Dutch side, St. Vincent, Barbados, and Antigua. Looks like Barbados gets a call no matter which itinerary that you take. And that's fine with me. Passengers are able to combine those two itineraries to make a really cool 14-night deep dive into the Southern Caribbean. San Juan is ideal because it's situated in a place that makes us able to be able to get to all of those wonderful Southern Caribbean itineraries that we love so much. Princess's chief commercial officer Terry Thornton also added this to the announcement, stating that their return to San Juan after more than a decade not only reconnects their guests with a port rich in history and charm, but further expands the variety of departure points across North America that guests can sail from. Now, prices for these Southern Caribbean itineraries have not yet been announced, 
but you are already able to start booking those trips effective May 16th. And if you are looking for a travel agent to go ahead and make those arrangements for you, I will leave my information down in the description below. One very interesting thing to note is Grand Princess is the oldest Princess cruise ship that debuted back in 1998. I am very much looking forward to traveling to the Southern Caribbean. As a matter of fact, we are heading to the Southern Caribbean in April on a Princess cruise ship. But I would love to know, are any of you excited or Princess travelers and excited about this return back to the Southern Caribbean? And if so, let us know what's your favorite place to visit in the Southern Caribbean. Um, I think my top is Aruba. How about you? Let us know in the comments below. Our next cruise story takes us over to the Port of Galveston and Carnival Cruise Lines. They have a big deal to celebrate. They have become the first cruise operator to embark 10 million passengers from the Port of Galveston, and they celebrate it in a big way. Marsha Halton of Houston was recognized as that 10 millionth passenger to depart from Galveston when she boarded the Carnival Breeze with her husband, Paul. They were welcomed on board by the captain, who is Isadoro Renata and Roger Reese, Galveston Wharf's port director and CEO. And the whole Carnival Breeze team set up this impromptu celebration for that 10 millionth passenger. Carnival Cruise Lines launched its first year-round sailings from Galveston back in 2000. President of Carnival Cruise Lines, Christine Duffy, was noted as saying that this is an achievement that speaks to the success of their long-standing partnership with the port and the greater Galveston community. She also noted that the future is very bright and they're looking forward to embarking 10 million more passengers as the years continue on. I bet they are. Carnival Breeze is just one of the four ships that actually depart from Galveston for the Carnival uh, Cruise Line brand. Of course, we all know the brand new XL class ship, the Carnival Jubilee, that also sails out of Galveston, as well as the Carnival Dream. And beginning October of 2024, the Carnival Miracle will begin sailing out of the Port of Galveston, doing some of those longer uh, sailings right here, finally, uh, out of the Port of Galveston. I, for one, am very excited about this, as Galveston is most definitely my closest home port, how about you? Do any of you have any sailings planned out of the Port of Galveston? And if so, on which ship? Not just Carnival sails out of Galveston, there are many others. I'd love to know if you're sailing out of Galveston. Let us know in the comments below. Speaking of the Port of Galveston, I'm going to take this opportunity to invite you to the Right Recipe for Travel group cruise. And you have some time to get this planned out. But we are leaving out of the Port of Galveston next year in November, November 16th of 2025 on the beautiful MSC Seascape. I will drop the information for that down in the description below. We would love to have you on our group cruise in fall of 2025. So go ahead, please do make your plans and I look forward to hearing from you to get you booked. I have one more cruise news story. And before I get to that, I'm taking this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you as part of the Right Recipe for Travel family, and it's very easy to do. Just tap down on that subscribe button. I'd also love it, and it would help the channel out a bunch if you would give us a like, and also tap down on that notification bell so when new videos come out, you're the first to know about it. All right, I got that all out of the way. I want to tell you about this last story. There is a new kid in town when it comes to cruising, and they are coming out in a big way. How about unlimited passes to cruise for a lifetime and you only have to pay one time? Interested? Well, this is the brainchild of Villa V Residences. And I've been looking at some other cruise vloggers who are actually getting ready to embark on this journey. So I've been very interested in Villa V. Let me tell you a little bit more about them. They plan to offer continuous three and a half year world cruises and this is called Endless Horizons. Now, this Endless Horizons program, it costs, get ready for this, $299,000 for one and $499,000 for two. What do you get for this price? Where well, you're going to get a guaranteed ocean view stateroom on Odyssey, which is the cruise line's first ship that is currently 
as we speak under renovation. The chief executive officer of Villa V has given us a little bit more information about what we can expect during this Inland Horizons program. His name is Michael Pe uh, Pedersen, and this is what he says. There is a goal to offer a seamless solution for those looking to retire on a fixed budget and never worry about ongoing expenses again. This is more than just a travel opportunity. It's a new way of life. For less than the price of an average home, you can secure a lifetime of experiences. That's a pretty bold statement. They're saying that you can retire on this uh, Villa V residences for less than what you would pay for an average home. Mm, the jury's still out, but let's dig a little deeper. One of the things that many retirees are concerned about is wondering, will their savings outlast them? So they're saying here on Villa V residences, you don't have to worry about that because the fee is only one time and you get to explore every corner of the world by sea. Now this Villa V residences, they're scheduled to debut on May 30th of 2024 and the Odyssey will visit all seven continents and then make its way around the world every three and a half years. The Odyssey will visit more than 425 ports in 17 different countries every 1,000 days, and they will spend several days in many of those ports. This is letting us know that VOV Residences is trying to transform the concept and idea of retirement. I'm very interested to know your thoughts on Villa V Residences. Does that equal out? You know, every state is different and every country is different, but $299,000 for one or $400,000 and 99,000 for two for double occupancy. How does that measure when you sit down and calculate how much you would spend for the next three, four, 10, 15, 25 years after retirement? Are those numbers adding up? Very interesting thought. Um, something to ponder. Let me know your thoughts, please, in the comments below. Well, that is it for the cruise news today. Thanks so much for sticking around with us, and we will catch you at the next adventure.